I'm Diana Espier with the Red Carpet Report. Today we are at the Television Academy honoring the Emmy nominated choreographers. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm so good. So you are nominated again. Yes. Are you from Australia? I'm actually English. Oh, okay. Never mind. But, but I do have a funny accent so people get confused. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful though. Oh, thank you so much. So you're nominated once again. Yes. How do you think this year's looking for you? How does it feel? Um, uh, pretty relaxed, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, very excited. Um, Mandy, Derek, Fred, and it's a great group to be uh, nominated with. And uh, um, yeah, I'm kind of relaxed. It's kind of just, it's not that I've, oh, I've obviously been here before, but it's, you, it's really completely out of, your, out of your control. So at this point, you might as well just enjoy it. And obviously you've already won before. Yes. So is the excitement still up there? Or do you feel like you've already won, so now you're a bit more chilled about it? No, it's always up there. It's always up there. Oh, it's always the same. I mean, how cool is this? I mean, you're nominated for Emmys. I mean, never in a million years, you know, when you're deciding to be a dancer growing up, that that's not in the cards for you, you know what I mean? So it's just, uh, it's really cool to be on this side of it. So I wanted to ask you, what is the best part about working with new talent? Because you've been doing it for so long now, every time someone new. What keeps you inspired? What keeps you motivated? The, just the, the training that is going on. You know, these kids are able to do things that I would have never been able to do growing up. And so that um, definitely inspires your choreography to go to a completely different place. Um, it, it's, it's incredible what their bodies can do and I feel like the way that they're learning and the way that they're growing it makes me grow as well as a choreographer and stay current so it's beautiful. Amazing. And so as you trained in dance, you know when you're trained in dance you're very much taught to be very disciplined and to always better yourself. How does it feel to be so well respected by young dancers and you know your opinion is valued by so many? Um, I mean it, it's, uh, it's an extraordinary thing. I think I, I take that to heart. I, I, I fill those shoes very heavily when it comes to um, trying to inspire and feel like you are a role model in some ways, um, especially for young male dancers. I, you know, I have all the time, you know, uh, young kid dancers come up to me and say, you know, the only reason why my dad thinks it's okay if I dance or I think it's cool is because I showed him videos of you. And he was like, well, then I'm, I'm, I'm into it if you want to be like him or something like that. And I think that that's the coolest thing. I never had, I have, I never had that growing up, you know, and now that it's kind of within reach because of social media and television and things like that. And now there's dance everywhere. You know, I didn't get to have that. I, 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 you know, fantasized about you know Gene Kelly and, and these these stars that were not even touchable and, and not even in my time and those are the only dancers I could look up to and now that they get to have that that's pretty cool so how was tour? Because I know that you've been on tour. Yes, uh, we go back on tour in October with my dance company Shaping Sound it's an amazing show, I, we worked so hard on it, um, it's just uh, it's a tragic love story and being on the road with your best friends is so much fun and um, yeah, it's uh, it's hard. It's hard to keep your body right, and um, but it's uh, it's incredible that we're able to get that many eyes out and see a, a live dance show every single night. So you've been working with JT. What do you see in the future? For JT, oh yeah, he's uh, he's a little ham. He's a little star. He's got a little personality on him. Uh, he's uh, he's de I see definitely a future in him for just being an actor. I mean, he's just such such. A, such a little cute little like a natural performer. Yeah, he's so good. Yeah, he's he's amazing. So I'm I'm excited to see what his future holds. Do you have any other young dancers that you have your eye on that you think are going to be the next big thing? Oh yeah, I mean I, I see dancers every single weekend at a yeah. da dance convention, and the dancers that are coming up right now, I'm telling you, it's just like it's bananas what these kids are doing. I'm telling you, because they have the resources to it. You know what I mean? And that you, they can see what everyone else is doing through social media, and then they're inspired. It's not just it used to be such such a small environment, you and your dance studio, and that's it. And then you only saw kids at nationals, but now it's there's just so. There's just so much at their fingertips, so many materials, and uh, they're using them all, and it's beautiful. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Of course, thank so you. Nice to meet you. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more interviews, and let us know in the comments down below who is your favorite dance personality.